uh, good afternoon, everyone, no, no matter where you are. Uh, so uh, I'm the director of uh, Foreign Student Affairs at NCHU. And now uh, it's uh, time to introduce uh, what NCHU is about. Okay, so NCHU is located in central Taiwan. Uh, we are in the city of uh, Taichung. And therefore, if you fly in from Taoyuan Airport, you're going to take uh, either bus or a uh, high-speed rail to reach Taichung. And uh, NCHU, it, uh, we have uh, 10 colleges. Uh, uh, it's a, so NCHU is a comprehensive university. We have 10 colleges, and uh, including liberal arts, science, uh, engineering, um, agriculture and natural resources, and so on and so forth. So uh, at this moment, we have the biggest colleges at NCHU is a National, uh, College of Agriculture and Natural Resources, and also College of Engineering. Uh, we also have a very famous uh, college of uh, veterinary medicine that is uh, one of the most uh, famous and also the very first established college in uh, veterinary medicine in Taiwan. Uh, NCHU is established in 1919 and we have uh, around uh, 1,011, uh, 1,100 faculty members and students. Right now we have four, about 14,000 students. Among those, uh, uh, we have about like 800 international students. And uh, the most important uh, attract, attractions uh, about NCHU to bring you to uh, here is uh, we have uh, the top ranking uh, research in agricultural science. It's about like uh, 100 uh, of the uh, university worldwide. And uh, the others is uh, we have a top-notch agricultural biotechnology. But in addition to, the, to those, uh, we also have a uh, good uh, development and also uh, emphasis in uh, electrical engineering and also uh, precision machinery. As a member in the Office of International Affairs, we arrange a lot of the activities for international students. Uh, so for students from Thailand uh, who will be uh, eagerly participate in the activity we have hosted. At this moment, uh, we, uh, among those uh, 800 international students, those are uh, 800 students, including overseas Chinese. Uh, but uh, for uh, international students by nationality, you can see here uh, in the second rank, uh, Thailand students uh, take up about 10% of our student number. And uh, the total right now is about like 400. And for all the students at NCHU, no matter you are international students or domestic domestic students, uh, we have uh, uh, a uh, we have different programs for the students to participate. So the first, uh, if you are international student, when you come to NCHU, uh, there are multiple uh, opportunities for the international students. Starting from the degree program, so we open twice uh, applications every year, starting from uh, after with the spring semester application just ended uh, and the fall semester starts uh, in uh, February to March. Okay, so uh, all the information can be uh, uh, found in the booklet we provided. And the other thing is uh, for the students um, in, at NCHU, you are entitled to participate student exchange and lab exchange programs. It means that uh, not only you can go abroad, if you have friends from Thailand uh, who have uh, who are interested in our program, uh, we are welcome. Uh, they are also welcome to uh, participate in their student exchange program to visit NCHU as well. And uh, in addition to the uh, student exchange, we also have the uh, campus internship. So uh, students can come for at least three weeks up to six months uh, as an uh, intern to work in the laboratory uh, and then learn the first-hand information from the uh, advisor. And we also have the short-term sh summer program. Uh, those are uh, including like um, uh, tea processing, uh, oh, that's, that's what, beer brewing, plus uh, Taiwan culture experience. Uh, those will be offered during the summer times and uh, everyone is uh, welcome to participate. In addition to the exchange programs, uh, students can also uh, participate in the 3X uh, master programs. So right now we have a collaboration with uh, UC Davis, so that's the top notch university in, in the States and also worldwide. Um, so what 
students can do, especially for undergraduate students, uh, they can take um, they can complete their uh, bachelor's studies at NCHU for the first three years. And the fourth year, they will move to UCD to start their master program until they finish. So uh, after they uh, complete the program, they will get the bachelor degree from NCHU and the master degree from uh, UCD. And we also have a tri-continental master program in global studies, and that's probably one of the uh, interesting program that a lot of students uh, have been uh, in inquired about. That's uh, the collaboration between NCHU in Taiwan, uh, the uh, Cultural University in Germany, and also the uh, Monetary uh, University in Mexico. So what students do is uh, they spend one semester in each university in different continent, of course, starting from Germany. The second semester moved to Taiwan. The third, third semester moved to Mexico. And the fourth semester, they, they go to the uh, home university where they have originally registered and uh, complete their master's study. So this, well, uh, at the end, after they complete all the studies, they will get uh, two diploma and one certificate. So uh, I believe a lot of students uh, from Thailand will be interested in knowing what scholarship opportunities they have uh, when they come to uh, NCHU. So uh, of course, uh, students are entitled to apply for the Taiwan government scholarship, uh, those from uh, education, uh, Ministry of Education, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and also Ministry of Science and Technology. Uh, in addition to the uh, government scholarship, NCHU offers a, a lot of the so scholarship opportunities, including the NCHU scholarship and also the elite scholarship. So at this current time, uh, over 70% of the international degree seeking students uh, receive a scholarship, either full scholarship, uh, those uh, can uh, include a tuition waiver and uh, uh, part, uh, and monthly stipend, and the other students uh, will receive uh, so-called a partial scholarship that's uh, indicated that students will be waived for their tuition, but they probably will get the support, financial support from their advisor. Okay, and uh, the elite scholarship is the new one that's been established just the past two, two years. So uh, those uh, stu uh, applicants who have been uh, lectures in their own home country for over one year uh, are entitled to apply for the uh, uh, elite scholarship. So um, at this moment, uh, NCHU welcomed uh, PhD uh, students who are uh, who would be interested in coming to NCHU for their uh, advanced study in PhD program. But uh, in the meantime, uh, MOE most uh, uh, MOE Ministry of Education offer the opportunity for um, PhD students and also master students. So if you are interested in knowing uh, the detail about elite scholarship, please uh, contact us. And the tuition and living cost in Taichung city in comparison to the other cities in Taiwan uh, is relatively cheap. So around at this moment, uh, each student spends about uh, USD $5,000 per year. Uh, as to the tuition, if you do not receive any scholarship, you will spend about like $3,400 uh, for per, per year for for the for the uh, for the tuition. Okay, so uh, how to apply as the uh, degree seeking students at NCHU? So what you do is first you register online to get a, a username and also the pass password, and then. Uh, complete all the detailed information uh, online. So the application form is online and online only. Um, and after you uh, submit all the uh, information and documents, uh, just hit complete, and then um, you will finish all the process. So please allow me to remind you again, the fall semester, the application for fall semester starts from February to March. Whereas for the spring semester, it starts from the mid September to mid October. Okay. And uh, for the spring uh, semester, we only accept graduate students. So, uh, this uh, for the students who are interested in coming as an undergraduate student, uh, please uh, apply it during the, for the fall semester. And all the required documents is listed are listed here. The most important thing I would like to remind you is that uh, we require students to submit a, a recommendation letter either from their high school 
are uh, university professors, and uh, the language proficiency test, either Chinese or English, either one would be okay. However, if you would like to uh, register uh, uh, in the program where there are only Chinese uh, courses, then the Chinese proficiency score will be almost essential. In addition to the degree seeking uh, program, if the students are interested in coming to Taiwan for learning Chinese, uh, at NCHU, there is a, a language center offer intensive Chinese language programs. Uh, there are four terms per year, and each term is uh, three months. So students can apply directly to the language center for the uh, for the in, for learning intensive Chinese, uh, and then you will be able to get a visa. In addition, since uh, so I mentioned, Thailand student now comes as the second uh, largest uh, uh, international student population at NCHU. Uh, we have a, a Thailand Student Association where they will help uh, the new coming student to adapt to the local and the campus environment. So that uh, they have been very helpful to uh, help the students, the new coming students, uh, no matter they are from Thailand or from other countries. So that would be all I want to say for now. And uh, if you have any questions, please, uh, uh, you, you're welcome to ask now. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for your interesting information. I think for director, you give us very, very informative session yeah. and very interesting. And I believe that Taichung is very peaceful city. I've been there many times. You know, I really miss the food from Taichung. <laughs> you can come back again. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I wish. We wish. We wish. I wish. Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Yeah. Pretty soon. Wait for they open everything. Like make it easy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, uh, you you talk about the Thai Student Association. Yes. In, yeah, at your campus. I mean, so so right now, how many Thai students are there already? Uh, in the. Student Association actually all the Thailand student, uh, Thai students, uh, is uh, considered as the official, uh, the of course uh, the the member of the Thai Student Association. So right now we have forty one Thailand student from Thailand. Most of them are graduate students. Wow, I think, yeah, that's very good. You know, like a network over there. Yeah, right. I believe right. that like a, there will be more and more Thai student from yeah. uh, from Thailand. They want to go there and then explore more. Yeah. Okay. So you yes. have many courses, many programs. Right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, can you just I mean like can you please update the situation right now? I mean like uh for the scholarship. Yes. Yeah, and then for uh, other opportunity for Thai student, they still have some like some scholarship or something available. Okay, uh, for uh, since uh, most of the uh, Thai students at NCHU are in um, are graduate students, so uh, a lot of them receive a sponsorship from their advisors. Yeah. Right, so this is a part and uh, all of them uh, are tuition waiver receiver means that they do not have to pay the tuition. So that's that's about like uh, $3,400 per USD dollars per year. So that's uh, the amount that have been uh, waived from their uh, payment. Um, and also uh, some students uh, is uh, for competitive uh, grants, uh, they will be able to receive the NCHU scholarship that uh, so is uh, 6,000, 8,000 and uh, $10,000 per month. So there are three different uh, uh, types, but uh, most of the students receive the 6,000 uh, NT dollars per month, and that so what goes on for uh, from January to December. So there will be one year, and the second year they will renew the scholarship. Okay, so yes. I I just want to translate in Thai for the audience. Okay. Sure, of course. Yes. Yes. คนมีเยอะมากเลยครับทุกท่านครับผมซึ่งอย่างที่บอกไปนะครับว่าเราพยายามจะลิสต์ออกมาแต่อย่างที่บอกว่ามีรายละเอียดเยอะแยะมากม
เข้าไปคว้าอยู่นะครับดังนั้นเนี่ยอย่างที่บอกว่ามหาลัยเขาเนี่ยอยู่ในเมืองไทยจงเมืองที่น่าอยู่เมืองที่เงียบสงบแล้วก็มีทุกอย่างอ่ะตรงๆแล้วคนไทยเยอะถูกต้องครับผมถ้าแบบกลัวเหงาแบบเอ๊ะไม่มีคนแบบเสือหกสิบสาวหรือว่าแบบอยากจะเอ๊ะถ้าเราไปอยู่คนเดียวจะทำยังไงไม่ต้องกลัวนะคะตอนนี้สี่สิบกว่าคนใช่แล้วเขาเป็นกลุ่มเขาเลยเป็นแบบเป็นกลุ่มนักเรียนไทยที่นั่นเลยนะครับซึ่งเชื่อได้เลยว่าว่าต้องมีกิจกรรมมีการทํางานต่างๆร่วมกันอ่านะครับผมนะครับวันนี้เราได้รับเกียรติโดยตรงนะครับจากดีเลคเตอร์ของโอเอของมหาลัยนะครับดังนั้นเนี่ยคือเชื่อมันได้เลยครับมหาลัยนี้ไปอีกทางเลือกแล้วกันเนาะที่เราจะต้องแบบลิสต์ไว้นะครับในใจเราแล้วก็เดี๋ยวไปดูข้อมูลเพิ่มเติมซึ่งอย่างที่บอกไปว่าเขาจะเปิดรับสมัครกันเนี่ยประมาณต้นปีต้นปีของปีใช่ครับผม alright okay so and the last but not least so you want to leave any message to give some good speech for Thai student right now yeah because after the covid situation some student they Hesitate, you know, to go yes, or to stay here. Yep. Okay. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity. Um, as I have mentioned, uh, Thai students are uh, here at NCHU actually consider as a big family. We have uh, a lot of the faculty members uh, who have uh, received uh, Thai students in the past. 20 years, actually, yeah, we're starting from almost 20 years ago, and uh, students feel like home at NCHU. That's the one thing, and the other thing is uh, we also have uh, graduate students who have graduated and then go home, went home to be the faculty member in the universities. So if you have any opportunity to come across uh, those uh, professor who have uh, a whole degree. Uh, from NCHU, please just approach them. They will be very happy to help you and then also uh, instruct you on how to finish the online application. All right. I, I love every time you say about the, like, uh, we are family. This is <laughs> yes. a very, this is the best word ever, yeah. you know, for, for the, like, Thai students like us to not go there and we feel like home. Yes, yes. Right. Thank you so much for your time today. And anytime you are more than welcome to come to Thailand and then like uh, to to visit us here. Yes, definitely. Well, when the pandemic is okay. over. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you. You stay safe and take care. Yeah. Yep. Too. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank Sawadee you. Ka. Sawadee ka. Sawadee ka. Sawadee ka.